Now, my beloved, we will start with our memory developing breath, and we will go along as far as we can, feeling the inspiration of the eternal spirit as we go. So gently erect, the palms of the hands downward. Erect. Now your magic camera. First, the thought. I thank thee, Lord, for the breath of my life. Now a complete pervasion within you of light. Now, all together, up. Now in our succeeding breaths, remember the exhalation, and I will endeavor to give you guidance to make it just a little slower, so that you will be able to get the full power of the exhalation. Now, all together, up, up, up. Watching within your own body, doing your work. Now, two more sevens all together. Up, 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 up. Stop. Very good. No movement that you haven't to make. Now the last triumphant seven. All together. Up. Stop. And now the backs of the hands on the knees, the eyes closed. And now I imagine that great light at the top of my head. The top of my head is heavy and relaxed. The forehead is heavy. The eyes are relaxed. The muscles of the face are withdrawn. The jaw gently drops. No pressure on the teeth. The arms and the hands are very heavy. But oh, how happy I feel. I feel happy all over. Particularly in my beautiful face. My face is bathed in smiles. My whole body is bathed in the blushes of my smiles. I feel a gentle pressure from within outward, and that gentle pressure is taking away all little lines of care, worry, trouble, fear. I feel happy all over. And now I bring the light down, the chest is relaxed, the abdomen falls down, and the light comes down, down down to the tips of my toes. 
And now I imagine that great light at the back of my neck. I'm looking down over my beautiful spine. It seems that I'm looking at a wonderful waterfall with the sunshine playing on it so that I see a countless number of tiny specks of iridescent light. Light! Light! And I know my whole body to be full of light. If thine eye be single, the single eye, the third eye, the inner eye, the spiritual eye, the creative eye, the eternal eye, the eye of my imagination, the eye that I am now using. If thine eye be single, thy whole body, this wide universe shall be full of light. And I know that every cell in that countless, countless number of cells in my body is a lamp, a light, a torch, bringing to me the light of the divine wisdom within me. The light being in perfect correspondence with the flame, as the flame is in perfect correspondence with the fire, the fire, the fire that is in the center of centers of centers of centers of my inmost being, the fire of divine love within me. And so, feeling happy upward, imagining that great golden, golden light going out in all directions, the secret of the golden flower. Slowly, I take a little breath, and a long, deep, sweeping, sweeping sigh. Now I lock it up as I take another little breath and a quick sigh. And I wake up quietly. Yes, my beloved, that was very good. Try always, when you're alone, to remember one thing. The exhalation. Now we will pass on to the revitalizing breath, followed by the inspirational breath at one standing. Now as we move, we move as one man. We see where we're going, we go to the place, we turn to the left, with no movement other than that that is necessary. So for the revitalizing breath, followed by the inspirational breath, we stand, we turn to the left. Very good. Don't spoil it. Be sure. Feet, ankles, shins, calves, knees, buttocks. The body pulled up to its full stature. The shoulders dropped. The arms and the hands tensed to the same degree as are the legs and the feet. First, the thought. I thank thee, Lord for the breath of my life. Now, all together we exhale. Now I'm taking in life. 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 Splendid. Keep it going. Now a big snip inward. Hold it. I am the master of my body. Sure, the buttocks, the fingertips, the feet. Hold it. Now we get ready. No dropping of the head, no dropping of the chest. Now all together we exhale. And now we relax entirely. Coming right down. As I think of, as I feel for, the inner meaning, the hidden meaning of these sublimely simple words. I am a whole, whole. Nothing is lacking. Nothing can be added. I am whole. I am perfect. 
I am strong. I am powerful, full of power. Every cell in my body is a complete power plant working for me. I am loving. I am that of which the universe is made, moving. I am loving. I am harmonious, in harmony, balance, poise, equilibrium. I am in harmony with the laws of this universe. I am rich. I am young. And now, as if innumerable streams of living light, are coursing downward in the body. I am happy. I look happy. I feel happy. I am happy. And so, feeling happy upward, giving thanks outward, the personal lost in the impersonal, the aura lost in the universal aura, slowly and a long, deep, sweeping, sweeping sigh. And now I lock it up as I take another little breath and a quick sigh. As I prepare myself without letting myself know it for the inspirational breath. Fingers, thumbs, be sure, first, the thought, now all together we exhale, now those beautiful arms, I'm taking in life, 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 life. Now the right thumb under the left thumb, the two forefingers touching the backs of the hands together, now momentarily review the posture. Now we come down 45 degrees. Down, down, down. And now we relax entirely. Relaxing the whole body. I thank thee, Lord, for my body. My body the transcendentally beautiful, the infinitely intricate, but the most gloriously accurate instrument in this universe. My body, the temple of the living God, the temple of the God that lives within me that is alive within me. I stand in reverence. I stand in adoration. I stand in veneration. Before the wisdom pent up in the very substance of my body. And I pledge myself, I vow, that from this moment henceforward, nothing that I shall eat or drink Nothing that I shall do or say or think shall injure or abuse this temple of the living God, my body. And so, feeling happy upward, giving thanks outward, slowly and a long, deep, sweet, sweeping sigh and now I lock it up as I take another little breath and a quick sigh and I sit down quietly my beloved very good with the exception in the inspirational breath that some of you forget that your arms are your own use every muscle every lock when you bring your arms up, bring them up as, you, as if you know what you're doing. Don't forget that. And then, 
When you've done that, of course, the locks in the body are all secure, then you can come down. Just like a valve. But on the whole, very good indeed. Now we will pass into the perfection breath, followed by the vibromagnetic breath. Now, my beloved, we're doing excellently. Just keep the feeling. And when it comes, first to the thought. You're not listening to words. Everything within, without, above, below, completely coordinated, and you are light. You're filled with light. You approach modestly and humbly the very center of the eternal light. You go back, so to speak, into the days of long antiquity. Thousands of people in the world long, long ago did what we are doing. And because they did what they did, we are able to do what we do. So let us most reverently hold the feelings. We're not going through, I don't want to insult you, we're not going through merely physical exercises. Now, the perfection breath followed by the vibromagnetic breath. See where you're going. We stand, we turn to the left. Good. Good. Now erect instantaneously. Feet, ankles, shins, calves, knees, buttocks. The body pulled up to its full stature. The shoulders dropped. The arms and the hands tensed to the same degree as are the legs and the feet. Now as one position. First, the thought. Now all together we exhale. Not very good. First, the thought. Now, all together we exhale. Now I'm taking in life. 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 Now a big sniff inward. Hold it. Remember the arms. Now we get ready. Swing number one. Swing number two. Swing number three. Arms at the sides. We exhale. And now we relax entirely. As I prepare myself to think the greatest thought I ever shall be able to think, Whatever the Creator is, I am. Differentiated from all other life forms in this universe, I am the Creator in human form. The Creator is right here, right in the heart of me, right in the mind of me, right in the substance of me, right in the being of me. Reveal thyself, O Lord of my life, O Lord of the eternal, thou that art, the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, forever. Come, I wait. I listen, I am still, I watch within me, and now I will to see the Creator at work within the temple, as feeling happy upward, 
giving thanks, giving thanks, giving thanks outward, slowly and along Now I lock it up, I make it my own, as I take another little breath and a quick sigh, as I prepare myself for the vibromagnetic breath. Splendid. Fingers, thumbs. Fingers, thumbs. First the thought, now all together we exhale, now taking in life, 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 now a big sniff inward, be sure we get ready, swing number one. Swing number two, swing number three, arms at the sides, we exhale, and now we relax entirely, and now I'm thinking of the loveliest thing I have ever known, the loveliest thing I have ever known. There it comes before my mind, that beautiful picture, perhaps from the long ago, perhaps from the far away. But there it stands perfectly clearly delineated before my mind, as if it happened but a moment ago. I thank thee, Lord, for my memory. I thank thee that I am able to bring back from the vault of the past any beautiful thing that is in my memory. And I pledge myself, I vow, that from this moment henceforward nothing shall enter my memory, no idea of negation of whatsoever kind, no idea of disease, decay, senility, old age, disappointment, doubt, failure, death. Nothing shall enter my memory but that which is in unison with all good and my own very highest conception of truth. And there I see the whole conduct of man there I see my whole conduct. And so I will that that picture shall be lost again in the absorption of my being as feeling happy upward, giving thanks outward, slowly and along deep sweeping, sweeping sigh. Now I lock it up as I take another little breath and a quick sigh and I sit down without coming out. Now, my beloved, instantaneously, the body's gone. I feel great waves of joy, love, and that peace that passes knowledge. And now I'm feeling to the right. I'm feeling out toward my right-hand neighbor. And there comes that beautiful vibration taking me away to the right, to the right, 
to the right. It seems as if I'm on a cloud going out endlessly through space. It seems as if I'm on the bosom of a great billow going out over a far outstretching sea to the right, to the right, to the right. I am developing prana in the positive center of my willpower. I am developing the origin of life, the origin of life, the current of life, the life current within me in the positive center of my willpower. I am developing the current of the universe. I am developing the spirit of the current of the universe in the positive center of my willpower to the right to the right. Now let the body do what it wants to do. No thinking, all feeling. Let the body sleep. You keep awake. Keep awake in your own feeling. Now ever so tenderly, we reverse the current only in the feeling is there change. I'm feeling to the left, to the left, to the left. And there it comes again, that beautiful vibration taking me away to the left. It seems to grow a little faster, a little smoother, a little deeper. It seems as if I'm on the bosom of a great billow going out over a far outstretching sea to the left. It seems as if I'm on a cloud going out endlessly through space to the left, to the left, to the left. I am developing prana in the negative center of my willpower. I am developing the origin of life, the current of life, the life current within me in the negative center of my willpower. I am developing the current of the universe. I am developing the spirit of the current of the universe in the negative center of my willpower. To the left, to the left, and now ever so tenderly, I stop the current and I'm feeling downward. And there it comes again from the top of my head down, down, down to the tips of my toes, then up around in front like a great wheel of golden light coming down, down, down. Then up around again, and I see that great light, and I bring it down, cleansing, cleansing, cleansing. the soles of my feet, 
The Creator is within me. Looking out on the universe through my eyes, listening to the sounds of the universe through my ears, thinking the thought of the universe through my mind, issuing the sounds of the universe through my throat. Purify thou my throat. The Creator is within me, doing the work of the universe through my hands. The Creator is within me, expressing through me. My beloved, I don't think I need to impress upon you that of all I think of all the practices and the ritual that you will ever be able to learn and master, there will be nothing more efficacious in your life than the healing breath. I'm not criticizing, I'm trying to teach, but I counted five of you who evidently had a hair coming down over your face or something or other. You see, to the degree that your consciousness was occupied in sweeping that hair from your face or doing something, just to that degree did you lose the opportunity of absolute perfection. Be ye perfect. Even as your Father in heaven within you is perfect. That's what we're feeling after. I'm not criticizing, I know. But my beloved, it is a little difficult to allow ourselves completely to surrender. Some people I've heard, I've heard them say they're rather afraid of going, whatever that means, going. But I and my Father are one. It's the transcendent truth of existence, or it's just not true. No light. We know what light is. We see everything in the light of the sun. And if ever you've had the experience of seeing people who have lived under the ground a very great deal of their lifetime, they have a totally different hue, a different color. They are dwarfed. They seem to be a different breed. We are in the light. And when we become conscious of complete and permanent baptism or yes, baptism in the light, well then you see we are what the light is. I wonder whether, John, do you mind lying on the floor here? Up there a bit so that most people can see you. Lie right with your head that way. Now here is what we call a human being. A very pretty good specimen of a human being. Now, John, put your arms up in the, making your body in the form of a cross. And you just rest and go to sleep if you want to. Now, there is a human being. Now, we can see that that human being is encased, so to speak, in its skins. And if we know anything about biology, physiology, anatomy, and so on, we get a fairly consistent idea of what a human being is. And we say that when we've seen one human being, we've seen the human race, which is true. Well, what is this thing? We know that it is, it is composed of an aggregation of cell life. What activity is going on in that body as it is lying there? We know that there's a great deal of difference between the feet and the head. 
It is true that there is great wisdom in the feet. Once I was discussing somewhat along this, uh, I wasn't discussing, I was listening, somewhat along this line to my old master in Tibet. And we sat with a little saucer of vegetable oil and a rush in the oil. And that was all the light we had. And it was just sufficient light to make the darkness visible. Well, I expressed surprise that with all the knowledge they had not made a better light than this. And he too was quite surprised to hear me express that opinion. Light, he said. Why, well, you are light. It was a rather blustery night, very dark. And my old temple was built on the side of a very high mountain. It is as if it were clinging to the side of the hill. And he said, come with me, and I went. And outside, he gathered up his gown, tucked it into his girdle, and he kicked off his sandals, and he ran up a, a canyon which was studded with great boulders as high as this, the, as this room or higher. And, of course, I couldn't see him, but he ran like a deer, and then he came back. And he said, could you do that? Well, I couldn't. I should unquestionably have broken my legs or broken my neck. And then he said, I have eyes in my feet. Then he explained a horse. A horse has got eyes in its feet. But there's a great deal of difference between our feet and our head. Now, the cells that make the brain don't make the toenails. The cells that make any one particular thing have come down, as we say, have come down in the universal wisdom so that there's never any doubt about the work of what is called God going on in this thing. It's going on at this instant. It's going on. Just imagine. Well, don't try. We would go crazy if we had to even imagine what is going on in our bodies. But you see, you can imagine this thing and it's filled, it's cell life. Now every cell, no matter what its, what its duty or its purpose, or its work. It is doing its work perfectly. I have no doubt that the cells that are making John's fingernails or toenails grow are doing their work, and I'm quite sure at the present time that right in his brain that work is going on, in his eyes, everywhere in the body, and it's all going on uniformly and so on. Well, you can imagine then that this thing is made up of cells. And then you can typify the cells as little tiny candles. It is impossible. There are some people who claim to know and they base their reasoning on astronomy and all the sciences that they know. They tell you just about how many cells there are in this thing. I don't know. But I do know this, that it is an aggregation of cell life. Well then, if you can imagine every cell like a little candle, you can see then that, that those candles would be made in the form of John lying there. And simply numberless little candles. And then, the ideal human being is where the candles never go out. Or at least, they are constantly changing, as you know, but the light never leaves. Well, then we say that John says, well, I don't know, it's Tidapa, uh, I beg your pardon, that's Malay. It, it's uh, Manana. Uh, and John doesn't care very much. Well, the, the, the cells are light, but then somebody comes to John or he gets, he reads something or thinks something, he gets an inspiration, he says, my! And then you see all over this body, the lights are made greater. The lights all shine to an infinitely greater proportion than that which is ordinary in the subconscious life of a human being. And then you can't see John. You can't see even the form. You can see the form only as light. You can't even see the candles because between the little tiny spaces, the interstices, the in-betweennesses uh, of the cells, the light has sprung up. 
And there we see a blaze of light. We can't see the human being. We can't see even the cells. We can see the form, and that's light. Well then, John gets this great idea, and it stays with him, and as long as he is cogitating upon it and feeling it to be true and enthused by it and it raises his ambition and he says I'm going to do this thing why so long as he's engaged in that kind of thinking and corresponding feeling then the lights are constantly being fed by what? Well we may say it's being fed by John's thought what is John's thought? I don't know go and find out. John himself doesn't know but we know that it works and so you see my beloved a human being is a very different thing than the Mickey Mouse who rolls around the world half dead. Yes, he can be half dead. There are millions and millions and millions of human beings in the world today who are half dead. Perhaps it would be a better thing for them if they were dead. You know the way in which I use that word. Then it would give them a chance to begin again. But you see, we are light. And within us there are the candles. There are, you don't put a candle under a, you know the story. You don't put it under a bushel. And there is that marvelous, the most marvelous thing in existence. So John, thank you very much. You can get up and, and resume your chair. Now my beloved, that's a very simple illustration, but it's a very powerful one it seems to me. Let us always remember how great is God and consequently, no matter what your theology may be, you may be a Roman Catholic, you may be an atheist, you may be a Congregationalist, a Baptist, anything, well, I have no quarrel with you. But when we see what God is, then we see what we are. But we have to lose ourselves to find ourselves. A wonderful philosophy. But truth is always covered up a little. And when sometimes, or very often, when a human being gets a little truth, oh, how puffed up. He thinks that he knows it all. But when we go on and on, all the pride is taken away from us if we've got what it takes. And then we begin to surrender. And we find how beautiful it is to swim with the stream rather than to bucket. And we find that, why, all that there is is directing me, my consciousness in every phase of understanding. So my beloved, let us hold that simple thought. Now, following on that thought, shall we together breathe your own spiritual breath? Now this breath may be not quite familiar to you, but we will stand, we will turn to the left. Now instantaneously, erect. This is the only breath with the feet apart. The feet well apart. Now position. The elbows forward. First to the thought. with its consequent result. I thank thee, Lord, for the breath of my life. Now, all together we exhale. Now I'm taking in life. 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 Now a big sniff inward. Hold it. Follow the voice. To the right. To the left. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. We stand erect, we exhale, and now we slowly drop the hands. And now I'm thinking upward to the top of my head. I'm thinking joy, 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 joy. And now simultaneously we send it out. 
I embrace this class. I embrace all in mental physics, wherever they may be. I embrace the city. I embrace the state. And now I watch as I see those great waves of light rolling out, growing of their own nature. I embrace the country. I embrace the whole world. I embrace the whole human race. Now, with the light of the divine wisdom within me, with my love, with my joy, with my life, I embrace every living thing. And now I stand fast lest the light be too great for me as it returns to me by that mystic fourfold law, not from the one point from which I sent it, but from all the points. It's coming back, back, nearer, nearer, nearer. And now it embraces me it embosoms me, it overwhelms me. That light of the divine wisdom, that love, that joy, that life that comes to me from every living thing so that I know my whole body, my whole body, this wide universe, to be full of light, light, light. And now I will charge every cell of my physical body with that light of the divine wisdom, that love, that joy, that life that comes to me from every living thing as feeling happy upward, giving thanks outward, slowly and along, deep, sweeping, sweeping sigh. Now I lock it up as I take another little breath and a quick sigh, and I sit down quietly, Now, my beloved, I ask us to have our eyes closed. I ask us in a moment of supreme inward delight to feel that as you may hear a sound, that you will enter the sound, that you will be conscious alone of the sound and then when I give you the instruction then let the sound that you hear come forth from within you exactly as you hear it exactly as you feel it let us then be still for a moment supremely happy.
chanting, you feel the vibration. Let us change it a little, and then let there be abundance of sound. Om. Om together. Om. silent together we give thanks we give thanks we give